What's going on everybody, Crit City J here, ready to bring you episode number 4 of our Pokemon Christmas Nuzlocke. The last episode we went ahead and explored, I think this is called Violet City a little bit, um, and then we took on the Gym Leader Faulkner, and we got the Zephyr Badge. And now we're ready to go into um, Sprout Tower, because I said last time they were getting tired of trainers coming up there um, all the time, so you had to actually be a good trainer to do it, and apparently, and I th I'm thinking that that means we just need a gem badge so hopefully we can get in if not this is a waste of time oh well uh but let's go ahead and do a team recap first so we got rocco here our zubat level five with leech life and that's about it we got rudolph here our cendaquil level 13 with Mudslap, Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember, and I accidentally tied that Mudslap over Tackle, because I would actually rather get rid of Leer, but whatever. That was a mistake last episode. We've got Eric Carl, our B drill here, with Poison Sting, String Shot, Harden, and Fury Attack. Whoops. We've got Present, our Zigzagoon, level 9, Tackle, Ice Punch, Mudslap, and Headbutt. What's the nice thing is since I've got Headbutt, I think we can use Headbutt on trees and towns and stuff, and hopefully find some uh, Pokemon that way. Like some, I think about the only thing you get are like bug Pokemon, but I wouldn't really mind using a Pineco to be honest. I've never used one. I've always kind of wanted to. Anyway, we got Comet here, our Magikarp level 11, with Splash and holding the Experience Share. And speaking of which, I actually want to give some of my Pokemon um, Orenberries to hold, or, or Ranberries, however you want to you know refer to it as. Rudolph definitely needs one. And I think Eric Carl needs one. Rocco probably doesn't really need one because he's not really going to stay in against anything, I don't think. And Present doesn't need one because I want him to pick up some items for us. So let's see if the stairway is clear now. It is. We can actually get an encounter here as well. So we get a Rattata. Really? Really, that's what we're going to get is a Rattata? Ugh, I'm a little disappointed. I know we're a higher level than it, but all we got is Leech Life, and I don't really trust Leaf Leech Life. So let's go into Present to take on the Rattata. We'll tackle. See how much of that does. Alright, so let's see if we can catch it. I think Rattata's got a pretty high catch rate. So it should be able to catch it. One, two, Three. All right, so now we got to think of a nickname. Let me think here. A nickname for Rattata. It eats anything. Wherever food is available, it will settle down and produce offspring continuously. So, nickname for Rattata. Let's think here. All right, so the only thing I can really think of having to do with like a rodent or a mouse or a rat or whatever with Christmas is the, what is it called? Like a book or whatever, Towards the Night Before Christmas? And you know, the, the whole paragraph or whatever goes with that is Towards the Night Before Christmas and all through the house, and then a creature was staring, not even a mouse. So that's kind of what comes to mind. And I think out of that, I want to name this guy Twas. And the reason for that is because, well, that, you know, that whole paragraph there that I just, you know, said, and it's the first line in the paragraph, and it's, I don't know, the only one that, see, that can kind of be a name. So I think we're just going to call this Rattata Twas. So we got Twas here. Level 4 Rattata. It is a male Rattata, and it's got Tackle and Tail Whip. I don't think we're going to be using Twas. We'll probably put Twas in the PC, um, just because. I mean, we got Zigzagoon here, so I feel like Zigzagoon and Rattata are about the same Pokemon. You know, there's not a whole lot of difference there. Got an Awakening, so we'll probably just keep him in the PC once we get done with this whole Sprout Tower thing. Um, that way, he uh, we have something in there, you know. I was going to say that way we have power in the PC, but let's be honest, that's not really power. Alright, so we got an escape rope, old buddy. Looks like we got four battles here. Alright, so we got Sage Gen. 
sends out a bell sprout. Let's go into Eric Carl. Because this way, let's see, we'll see how he does against a bell sprout. Vine Whip does one damage. Okay, so we, res we resist Vine Whip, plus we got Poison String, which I think is super effective against Bell Sprout. Okay, it's not super effective, but it does do a decent amount of damage. Um, and I think it's because Bell Sprout is part poison. I kind of always forget if it's just grass or if it's part poison yet. I know Weeping Bell and Victory Bell are part poison, but I never remember if Bell Sprout is yet. So it must be part poison, because otherwise this would be super effective. So, you know, there you go. Alright, one more should do it. Let's go ahead and do a Fury Attack, that way we don't lose all of our, uh, Poison Stings. Which, actually, Fury Attack might do more anyway, I don't know. And Rock Roller and Supersonic. By the way, and I've got to mention this, um, I am bulk recording these, and these past two episodes, episode 3 and episode 4, I recorded, or I'm recording at the same time. So, um, if you guys gave me suggestions for, um, Comet, or anybody else, um, Rocco, you know, any of those other people give me name suggestions for them, um, I'm sorry, I haven't seen them yet, because, you know, like I said, I'm recording these the same day. Um, just know that it'll probably be episode 5 when I'll change those. Um, that'll either be on Monday or Tuesday, one of the two. It just kind of depends on if I have time to record both Platinum and, um, Chris this Christmas here. Um, the same day. So, we'll see. And they should take him out. Probably should have done a Fury Attack there again, just to save my PP. Because I'm guessing all these people are going to have Bell Sprouts. Or he'll have a Hoot Hoot. We definitely don't want to stand on a Hoot Hoot. And instead, you know, let's go into Rocco. I was going to say, I don't know if I should just go right into um, Rudolph. That way we didn't have to, you know, risk anything, but... I want to get some experience on Rocco as much as possible. Okay, so he's just going to growl, so we're perfectly fine there because we're going to be doing a uh, special attack. Alright. Tackle. There we go. And we beat the first one. Sage Neal sends out another Bell Sprout. So let's go back out into Eric Carl. You know, let's go ahead and see how much a Fury Cutter does. Or we'll just miss. I mean, whatever. That does probably more than a Poison Sting, especially if we can get more than um, more than two. So let's do Fury Cutter. Because Poison Sting is pretty weak. And they're both neutral. I just thought Poison Sting was going to be super effective. Alright, so I'm going to try to save now Fury Attack. And we're going to go Poison Sting here to finish him off. Oh, it didn't finish him off. So now Poison Sting to finish him off. Alright, there we go. What's he going to send in now? Another Bell Sprout, so we'll stay in. Let's go Fury Attack. We'll miss again. So maybe maybe Fury Attack's not the move to go with, because we keep missing it. Didn't do a whole lot there, but again, it, you know, the cumulative damage kind of helps. And the whole, you know, we can hit four times. That was, you know. Can we hit four times again? Four or five? That'd be nice. One more time. Ah, dang it. Crit? Is he gonna eat? Yep, there. So he's gonna get, I was gonna say, is he gonna eat his Aranberry or what? Let's go Poison Sting and that should take him out. Yep. Alright, and we defeated Sage Neal. Two down, two to go, guys. Let's go ahead and put another Aranberry on. Eric Carl, since we got him, might as well use him. 
All right, Sage Troy wants sends out another Bell Sprout. So, like I said, these guys probably all have Bell Sprouts because this is a Bell Sprout Tower, and it makes the most sense. Let's be honest. So, Fury Attack. Speed up a little bit. I don't know how many times we hit four times. And one more. Prop, or we'll just miss. All right, can we get three times? I think probably we'll do it. There we go. And we got him. Awesome. Rock grew to level 7. And Eric Carl does not grow to level 1. I thought he was going to. Comet, though, grew to level 12. Who do we can't stay in? Let's just go. Let's go out into Rocco. Get some experience. And then we'll go out into Rudolph. Can we get a burn? We haven't got a burn yet, I don't think, have we? Let's use an ember. Nope. Pretty sure ember can burn. Can we get a burn this time? Nope. Alright, there he goes. The Hoot Hoot. And he's gonna use a Zigzagoon. Let's just stay in instead of switching out. Don't wanna risk anything. Can we get a burn this time? We don't need one, we just get a crit, that'll work. Awesome, so we just defeated Sage Troy. So three down, only one more to go. And before we do that, let's go ahead and see what this item is. A nugget, nice, another nugget. So I sold that nugget, and honestly, early game, 5,000 uh, poker dollars was quite a bit. So we got we got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, quite a bit of potions that I bought. Um, we ended up spending pretty much all of it, though. Anyway. Let's go ahead and take this last guy on. Well, do I want to heal first? Yeah, I probably should. Just in case. This guy's probably going to be more difficult. So, 10 HP there. And 13 HP. I'm not going to heal at present. I don't see present really coming in. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and heal him up. I might want to bring him in just to get some uh, experience on him. There we go. I probably should have used an Oran Berry instead of wasting a potion. But I like having the Oran Berries because you can hold them. Alright, hopefully this guy isn't too difficult. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Hopefully our ties are strong. That way we can, you know, demolish this guy. All right, so we can start with a Bell Sprout, level 11. I think Eric Carl should be okay to take this guy on. So let's go ahead. So he went ahead and growth. Let's use a Fury Attack. See how much we can do here. That was a crit. That was another crit. Eric Carl with the crits. Wrap. All right. So wrap hopefully isn't broken in this. Um, and it, yeah, okay, we can still attack, so that's good. Can we get more than... Th okay, I was, was going to ask for more than three, but we only got two. Can we get three? Will that kill? Yes, it will. Alright, there we go. That wasn't too bad. There we go, level 11. Luckily, Bellsprout really can't do a whole lot to Eric Carl. A uh, hoot hoot. So we're going to switch out. I'm not going to switch into Rocco this time. Just because this guy's got some higher level Pokemon. And I don't want to risk anything. So we're just going to go right into Rudolph. Level 14. See, I told you. The high level stuff. I wasn't expecting level 14 though. Let's use a smoke screen. That way he's more likely to miss. I'm only going to use one though. It's just, you know, that way, like I said... His accuracy will go down. He'll growl. You know what? I'm going to use another one since he just growled. Let's just use two. Um, again, so he's just more likely to miss. Okay, now we're going to start attacking since he's going to start attacking. That did, what, eight? Can we get a burn? We haven't got a burn yet, so it'd be nice to get a burn. Did not get a burn. Foresight, awesome. Keep using foresight, buddy. I recommend it. Who, who, use Foresight. 
Burn. Dang it. Foresight, awesome. We gotta get a burn one of these times, right? I don't know what the percentage is to get burns. It's probably like 10%, but you know, it's gotta be one of these times. So he lands his tackle. We should be alright. I think we can live another one, even if it crits, I hope. See, I don't want to find out, though. Okay, oh, I forgot about the Ramberry. Awesome. So we should still be good. This should kill it, though, right? There we go. Rudolph grid level 14. Awesome. What's he got next? A Zigzagoon. I'm going to stay in. Let's smoke screen this guy as well. That way he can possibly miss. Again, I'm only probably only do one. Headbutt, don't. Oh, that did a lot. Let's use, let's see, is the potion gonna cure us all the way? It is not. I'm gonna use the hot chocolate. It might be a waste, but I wanna be cured all the way. And a potion just isn't gonna cut it at this time. Okay. If he gets a crit, we're done. Can we get a burn though? So it lowers the, hopefully it lowers the attack. I don't know if it does in this gen or not. Sand attack. He missed his sand attack. I'm just, I'm worried about the crit, guys. Because if he crits, I'm done at this point. Oh, I don't want to watch. Okay, good. Alright. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think we can kill him with another one, but I don't want to risk that. I want to heal up. See where we're at with his next attack. Maybe he'll miss. He didn't miss. Uh, but if I heal fully... Yeah, we're going to be fully healed. Okay, so now I should be able to get off an ember. He has, why does he miss head, head miss headbutt, dude? Miss it. That's why I smoke screened you. I was hoping we miss an attack. Can we kill him, though? I think we should be able to kill it. Alright, we killed it. Whew. That was a little nerve-wracking. Another Hoot Hoot, huh? Oh, I gotta stay in against a Hoot Hoot. At least Hoot Hoot doesn't have headbutt. Headbutt is what's killing us a little bit. So, I'm not really scared of the Hoot Hoots now. Um, he really didn't, you know, the last one really didn't do too much. Yeah, see, Peck doesn't do a whole lot. It's that stupid headbutt that I'm scared of. Because all he needed was like one crit and I was dead. But we can't seem to get a burn on this uh, Ember. Pretty sure Ember can, oh, we got a crit there, really, Rudolph, come on now. I'm pretty sure Ember can burn. Alright, so Bell Sprout. Well, let's switch out into Eric Carl. Because again, Bell Sprout can't do a whole lot to him. We got seven fear attacks, that should be enough. How's a crit, nice. Are crits still based on speed in Gen 2? I don't know. Yeah, special attack went up, that's fine. You still can't do a whole lot to me, Bell Sprout. Oh, keep going. Can we get five? We can get five. Is that going to kill? Oh, so close. All right, that's fine. Wrap all you want, dude. So what's the point of growth and then using wrap? Because I'm pretty sure wrap is physical. Comet grew level 13. As I said, Comet will probably, you know, become our highest level Pokemon here pretty soon. Oh. I didn't even realize he's going to evolve now. Awesome. We got a Quilava. Heck yeah. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. We got HM for Flash. I've got no desire to use it because I don't like Flash. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. It is perfect for a trainer who is who has defeated Faulkner in battle. Well, that's me. Alright, so let's use a our escape rope here. That's what it's here for. Where's it? There it is. 
and we'll heal up, and then we will continue on. Like I said, I'm shooting, and then and uh, this series I'm gonna be shooting for uh, 25 to 30 minute episodes. So we haven't hit the 25 minute mark yet. So we're gonna continue to. Whoops, I forgot. I was gonna, I was gonna put uh, Twas in the uh, PC. Oh, it's even called Bill's PCs right now. I don't have to like talk to somebody too. Whoops. Uh, I thought I said the president was holding something. Like, what did he pick up now? Because you guys, I don't think he's actually picked anything up on screen. Each time you move a Pokemon, data will be saved. Is that okay? There's already a save file. Is this okay? What does this thing do? Like, is this... Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, anyway, sorry. I just wanted to see what the heck that was. Alright, so let's continue on. Is our party good? The way I want it? I think so. Let's... We're not going to be running into any uh, double battles, I don't think, because... I don't think there are... Double battles didn't exist in Gen 2, and I, you know, I'm guessing she, uh, he or she, I don't know if it was a boy or girl, um, wrote him in here. Um, I'm guessing they didn't. Okay, we got a Cherry Berry. Alright, we can get an encounter, though, down here. This is a new route. I know that for a fact. So this is a new route. We can get an Or not. There's usually grass over here. They get rid of the grass. Okay, why aren't you fighting me? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The, the training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a survivor of the Violet Gym or the Violet City, take this. It, it increases the power of Grass type moves. Got the Miracle Seed. We just need a Grass type now. I was hoping to find a uh, a Bell Sprout in the Bell Sprout Tower and use Bell Sprout, but oh well. Yeah, because we don't have any grass type. Alright, what are we going to find? There's our bell sprout. Alright, there we go. Missed the super. I didn't. Okay. Which is violent. Violent doesn't do a whole lot. Let me hit himself. You hit yourself this time? No, apparently not. Hit yourself this time. Seriously, what is going on? Confuse no more. Apparently, we, uh. Supersonic was a waste of time. He didn't even hit himself. Alright, so we got him down in the yellow. So let's try a Pokeball. One, two, three. Dang it. I thought, I, I thought we got him. Let's try it again. I'm going to look something up while we're trying to catch him. There we go! Alright. I don't know if this is going to fit. So, okay, let's go ahead and read the Pokedex and I'm going to tell you what I, th what I thought of for the name. Bellsprout. And look at it up in the top right hand corner. Is that on all the Pokemon? It's like a crack or something. That's kind of weird. Anyway, it's the flower Pokemon. Even though its body is extremely skinny, it is a it is blinding fa blindingly fast when it, when catching its prey. All right. So what I looked up. So I don't know about you guys, but every year for Christmas, my mom would receive a um, plant, a Christmas plant or whatever, from her boss at work. And I looked up the name of it because I couldn't remember it, and it's called a point setup. I don't think it's going to be able to fit. And that's what I wanted to call um, Bell Sprout. Let's see. How many letters do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters to use. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, this might just be the right set. I'm gonna call him Poinsettia. And I kinda like that name. Especially for a female. It's a female bell, but I feel like it's a, whoops, spelled it wrong. Not oh, my phone. There we go. Point and then set. Ah, yeah, yep. Just a perfect amount of letters. So we got poinsettia here. It's not poinsettia, it's poins, poinsettia. I, I think I always say it with like point setta, but it's not. It's poinsettia. Alright, so we got poinsettia now. I need to do some grinding, I think, pretty soon. Get, get these Pokemon up some levels, some more levels, especially the ones we just can't. Another Rattata, level 6. See, like, look at that. Level 6, and we just get on fighting level, what, 14s? Let's see how much each, each life will do. Alright, so it's probably a mistake to stay in anymore. Same with a Zubat. There we go. And I actually want to check out points, Poinsettia. Oops, not switch. Stats. It's, so it is Grass Poison. So there you go. Vine Whip and Growth. And that's all it knows. Let's give it an item. A Miracle Seed. Like I said, I'm gonna, Comet's going to keep the experience here until he becomes a Gyarados, because he's no use to us unless he, until he becomes a, becomes a Gyarados. I want to keep leveling Rocco up, uh, so we're going to keep him in the front. We need Cut. Oh, what's that down there? Oh, a Mareep. That would have been nice. Um, let's send in... Present. What's this? Is that train tracks? So over on? I can't go any farther that way. I'm guessing I can't go any farther this way. Yep. Alright, guitarist CC, I think is what I said. Coughing. Coughing! Let's see how old present does against the coughing headbutt. Headbutt. I think we can live another one. Yeah, but we got poisoned. Alright, we gotta switch out. Grimer. Might as well use Mudslap, it's super effective. Alright, so we gotta make our way back to the Pokemon Center, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and call it a episode here. Um, well, here, let's real quick before, so I don't forget um, after I go ahead and you know, end this episode. Let's see, confusion, poison, there we go. So there we go. Alright, so anyway, we're gonna end this episode off here. I'm gonna go ahead back and heal everybody up and then make my way over here again, maybe do some grinding. Um, I'm not gonna go any farther than this area right here so you know just in case something you know I trigger something um, but let's go ahead and do it on the train tracks here so guys if you enjoyed this episode make sure you hit the like rating down below if you didn't enjoy it go ahead and hit the dislike um, button but just you know I ask you if you could let me know why you didn't like it that way maybe I can fix it and you know become better at you know doing YouTubes um, secondly if you haven't yet make sure you Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a moment of all this exciting action. Go check out my Pokemon Platinum LP or Pokemon Platinum Second Chance Lock um, on the channel if you haven't yet. And finally, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have any ideas for nicknames. Honestly, unless you can come up with something really, really good, I kind of like Poinsettia because, like I said, it kind of reminds me of my mom. Um, 
I like Rocco, even though I don't know the story, which if you guys know the story, let me know about it in the comment section. Um, present, I think, fits right now. Um, I didn't like it at first, but I think it fits. Eric Carl, again, you have to come up with something really cool to, you know, replace Eric Carl. <coughs> Excuse me. Comment, though. I think Comment's the one that I want to replace if you guys come up with something good. Um, just because it doesn't really fit. I mean, I don't, not really. So, yeah. So, that's that's the one that I'm looking to replace the most. Um, but if you guys, again, if you guys can come up with some great names for the rest of them, I'd consider it. So anyway, let you know again. Like I said, leave me the comment down below, or if you have any other questions or want to talk about anything, you know, just let me know. I love talking to you guys in the comment section. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.